Hi everyone, it's Claire Jarvis here at Restore Fitness Therapies and in this video I wanted to talk to you about pelvic floor muscles, what they are, where they are and why they are important for absolutely everybody. Now we often just talk about pelvic floor muscles in relation to pregnant women or women who've given birth and some people for that reason think that only women have pelvic floor muscles but actually everybody has them. So the pelvic floor muscles sit at the base of the pelvis and they support the pelvic organs. So in men that is the bladder and the the bowels and in women it's the bladder the bowels and also the uterus now the pelvic floor muscles are kind of thick firm muscles and you can imagine them a bit like a trampoline sort of sitting at the bottom of the pelvis there now they run from your pubic bone at the front of your body through to your tailbone at the back and then they also run from side to side from one sit bone across to the other so think of it like this kind of x shape of muscle that's all filled in like this big trampoline and then you have holes for your exit so the bladder at the front bowels at the back and then women have a space for the vagina in the center as well so everybody has those muscles that's where they are in the body now why are they important now obviously during pregnancy they're really important in supporting the growing weight of a baby inside a woman's body they're also really important muscles during childbirth but that aside all the other reasons why they're important affect absolutely everybody male and female so first of all, they control your level of continence, i.e. your ability to hold urine and hold feces at the back of the body until you're ready to let them go from your body. So one of the signs that you might have a weak pelvic floor is that you might have some incontinence issues. It may just be a little bit. In some people, it's quite severe. Uh, for some people, it may only happen when they cough or sneeze. For some people, it can be, um, you know, just happening during the day and during the night for no particular reason that they can that they can place their finger on. So if you are struggling at all with continence, issues that would be a sign that you definitely do have a weakened pelvic floor um, but other reasons why we want a strong pelvic floor aside from continence there and for women in pregnancy and childbirth is that it's really important in sexual function which affects most people um, and it's also really important because your pelvic floor muscles are attached to your abdominal muscles at the front they're attached to your back muscles at the back there and that provides you with stability and strength through your whole spine so it's really important for all of us to have a really strong and effective pelvic floor now some of the things that can weaken your pelvic floor are pregnancy and childbirth in women but actually age is another factor as we get older our muscle tone declines throughout our body and the pelvic floor is no different so as you get older it becomes even more important to make sure that you have a strong pelvic floor obesity can also be a risk factor because the the, the sheer amount of weight coming down onto the pelvic floor is putting it under strain uh, high impact exercise again you're putting those muscles under strain there um, other things like heavy lifting whether it's for work or it's carrying children consistently or things you do at home and around the house there um, and also things like chronic coughing or having constipation or other kind of medical issues so there's quite a lot of different things there that might lead you to have a weakened pelvic floor but it's not something that you need to worry about it's just something you need to be aware of just remember the pelvic floor muscles are muscles like any other in the body yes they're prone to weakness and yes they're prone to injury but they can also be strengthened trained and repaired so in all of our classes we do have a focus on pelvic floor muscles we talk about them through Throughout the class there teaching you where they are how to activate them how you know that you're activating the correct muscles because often people don't know how to activate those muscles and then taking you through exercises some dedicated some wound up in our other physical exercises that will help you to strengthen those muscles and feel a lot more in control of your body so I hope that video has really helped you just to appreciate that we all have those muscles uh, where they are in the body why they're important and the fact that even if you are experiencing experiencing problems they are totally fixable but prevention is always better than cure